Let's talk metals, or at least the metals that I use. I use copper, brass, bronze, and steel. The copper that I use is 99% pure. Standard copper sheet. Once we get away from copper, we're talking about alloys. An alloy is a base metal with at least one other ingredient. For example, brass is copper and zinc. Bronze is copper and tin. And steel is iron plus carbon. Now, there's hundreds of different alloys, especially in today's technological world with aerospace and nuclear facilities. So there's all types of different metals. But especially in steel, what I'm using is mild steel, which is iron and carbon. Now this is what I would call standard copper. And I always like to think of copper when it's new and not tarnished, like the bottom of a Revereware pan. These are some pieces of raw copper. This was mined in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. You can see that it has impurities in it. So once it's smelted down, then you end up with just the 99% pure copper. Now here's a piece of bronze. Now this is copper and tin. It's got kind of a reddish color to it. Piece of brass, which is copper and zinc. Here's two rods that look exactly the same, look like they're the same material. But this particular piece is brass, and it's copper and zinc. This is a bronze brazing rod. It's what I use to braze metal sculpture. This is copper and tin. Even though they look exactly the same, you would have a very hard time brazing with this. The brazing rod, which is bronze, which is copper and tin, that's what I use for brazing. Now this is bronze, which I showed earlier, and this is bronze. So obviously, the alloy, or the ingredients, that go with the copper is different for this than the ingredients for the bronze brazing rod. All of these pieces are mild steel. And they have a little different appearance as far as the finish on them, but they're all mild steel. And mild steel is one of the least expensive of the steel materials. This is a piece of mild steel. And you can see that it's rusted and pitted here. And for demonstration, I ground this down, sanded it, and then buffed it. So that it comes up to this high sheen. Almost looks like chrome. So mild steel is one of my favorite materials because you can do so much with it. For me, it's particularly good for contemporary sculptures. So what we have is copper, this sheet here. We've got this brass rod, and this is brass sheet. The mild steel pieces, bronze, and the bronze brazing rod. For more in-depth information about metals, do a Google search for metallurgy.